SM Seaside Mall, out by SRP, South Road Properties, has Palarong Pambansa, some of the biggest sporting events uh, in the Philippines going on, uh, some of them in, in different locations around, uh, around Cebu City. And uh, athletes, uh, mostly high school, junior high, I guess, uh, in from all over the country. And uh, performing, I'll show you some more of those a little bit later. Um, SM Seaside Mall has a very large ice skating rink. And over to the right here, they even have like uh, uh, little machines to, to, to drive on the ice with. Um, but you can rent, you can rent skates. They've got a huge, very huge uh, food court up here, as well as many restaurants. And I'll show you some of the restaurants, the terraces, really unique terraces area that they have uh, in a little bit. Um, a lot has changed here since the last time, last couple times I've been here. New stores, new restaurants. Some of the other restaurants I was used to are gone. Um, a lot more focus on kids games like this type of thing amusement amusement areas apparently the kids spend a lot of money therefore uh, they've got several of these types of things throughout uh, throughout the mall I took a my bus there's a company called my bus um, operates and I, I took it from the downtown area down by the pier pier one area basically and cost me 30 pesos about 60 you less than 60 us cents and here we are up in the terraces type area and a lot of restaurants and uh, we're going to go around here and it in, interesting inside of the mall on not the very very lowest level but all the other levels it, it's made in a big circular fashion and i didn't know that when i first came here a number of years ago and if you start walking around, you end up right back where you started because it's one big circle. And uh, this outside area isn't quite, it's more like maybe half a circle or something like that. And we'll come to the end up here. Uh, but you can see, and as I mentioned before, Filipinos like to do things as families and groups. Um, and uh, yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll see up here just huge, huge groups of Filipinos joining together where uh, a lot of times us Westerners, one or two people or just by ourselves. And I'll often be asked, sir, you're by yourself. Why, why are you by yourself? <laughs> because I'm hungry and you're a, you have a restaurant and I want to eat. No big deal. I can enjoy my time. Very large new Korean buffet here all you can eat type thing and uh that is relatively new i think but yeah you'll see just huge huge food in the center area there i believe if you're uh, into the korean foods off to the right they've got seating they've got seating out out here and uh and inside as well and off to the right and we're going to go out there, big terraces area. And, uh, yeah, you get to take a look at that anyway. A number of different events going on up here, more restaurants. I have had to mute a big section of this video because the music playing in the background, I'm sure that it is copyrighted. And, yeah, more restaurants, seafood place there. Uh, they've got a new government office up here, you'll see in just a little bit, uh, for passports, for you Filipinos needing passports, right in here. And uh, temporary office, they've got a number of those, I guess. Pacific Mall in here, a couple other places. Uh, in the past, it was almost impossible to get appointments at these places because they were always full. And you had to go to Consolation or Bacolod or Iloilo or Dumaguete. And here we are. You can rent bicycles here. These these girls rented a bicycle to ride outside. And a look at the main highway. SM Seaside sits right on the main highway from south to north, going into Cebu City, going north there. That is the new bridge, the CCLEX. 
uh, Cordova Cebu Link Expressway, a tollway taking you, uh, so there's three bridges right now. A fourth one is planned up on the north side of Cebu City, going over to Mactan Island. And this is the big terraces area. And at night, I think these uh, colored fountains uh, put on a little bit of a display. And there's a number of, of grassy areas here. I've, I've been up here in the past where a lot of people are, are sitting, having little picnics out here. A little sitting area, steps here you can sit on as well. And yeah, they've done done some uh, nice, nice decorating with the uh, seaside related designs. Now I took I took my bus, but uh, to even a taxi coming out here is very very inexpensive from the uptown area. Uh, probably maybe about around 200 pesos, less than four U.S. dollars. Uh, they've got these these out, outdoor little places. Uh, last time I was here, they had some like little food kiosks in here, almost like street food type places. And they're all gone, it seems. So I don't know if they weren't making money. Maybe they allowed them to come in for free for a time to see how it would work. Another park area. And here we're going to look look south and you've there to the left you've got uh, the newer casino new star casino down there and more events i tell you what watch here you don't want to mess with these girls uh just a lot of there was wrestling too they they had men's wrestling or boys wrestling as well as girls wrestling i tried to sign up for girls wrestling they said no sir you're not allowed you're so anyway, yeah, the karate, karate demonstrations. I've seen a lot of these in, in park areas in Dumaguete, for instance. Large groups of, of children practicing karate, judo, different martial arts. So be careful. Be careful, or perhaps they will save you one day. Now from the upper terraces, looking out over, that is a huge new sports uh, arena type place over there. And they're going to have, uh, plan is to have concerts and, and sports, various types of things going up fairly rapidly. A couple of years ago, I did a, a video about the, the infrastructure going in out here, including New Star, uh, New Star Hotel and Casinos and the sports complex here and off in the distance. That is Cebu City. And walking outside, you can see the look, the look of uh, SM Seaside from the outside. And I walked, I walked home from here in the hot afternoon. And let's see, I'm going to check and find out how many kilometers that is. The way I walked down here into Mambling and then uh, down towards uh, Cologne Street and then down to Carbone Market and uh, it says it's about 9.3 kilometers uh, or about five and a half miles. Um, says it should take me an hour and a half. I think it took me longer than that because I stopped to chat with people along the way. People say, it's too far, sir. Why do you walk? Because when I walk, I meet people, I talk to people, I see things and learn more about the city and the culture. Anyway, uh, one of the parking ramps to this huge mall out here, main highway. Now there is, I've heard that they're planning to put in some kind of big tra travel circle down here. And I don't know if it's uh, down here at the T intersection or back in the other direction at a T intersection. Not absolutely sure, I almost think it's back the other direction. Not sure when that's going to happen. Anyway, worth checking out. SM Seaside Mall. Uh, unique place. think they have a bowling alley there as well. Anyway, thanks for coming along. Safe travels. See you next time.